morning, Husky Nation. This is Super Dent Gross back with another edition of the 4x4 video. Uh, before we get started this uh, week, I just wanted to start by wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hopefully this uh, finds you doing well. I want to give a shout out to all of our students and staff who chose to participate in some of our dress up days and activities going into the holidays. Uh, we're truly trying to make this a place where students want to come uh, and don't want to leave. And so uh, thanks to our staff who worked to create those experiences for our students. Uh, going into the holidays, and we also maintained uh, a focus on some academics along the way. The second topic I want to talk to you about is ties back to our helping to make students' college career and life ready. Uh, we know that preparing kids for college is one of our top priorities in addition to being college and, and life ready. Uh, I wanted to highlight uh, some experiences and opportunities where kids have at Winterset High School that you may not be aware of or you've heard of and don't truly understand. And that's the concurrent enrollment classes that we offer at the high school and just the impact that that has for not only our kids, but our families. So uh, every year we get results from uh, our students who take the concurrent enrollment classes uh, from DMAC. So I wanted to highlight last year's numbers uh, and how it impacted our students. We had 196 Winterset High School students who took a concurrent enrollment class last year for credit. We have 11 instructors at our high school who are teaching classes for concurrent enrollment. Uh, we had 2,739 total DMAC credits earned by our students. Um, six of our students graduated last year with an Associates of Art degree from DMAC, and that equated to a total savings to our students and families of $458,664 in DMAC credit. It's a huge opportunity for our kids. Um, if you have any questions about it, reach out to our counselors. Encourage your students to take advantage of this while they're still in high school. I can't uh, express how great of an opportunity is for them. So I wanted to highlight that. Uh, the next one is, as we talk about our strategic priorities, uh, we're the, trying to create opportunities for our kids to develop self-worth and connection to others. We're super excited about an opportunity we have coming up on January 4th, uh, right after break when we get back. Uh, we're bringing in Joe Beckman. Joe Beckman is a speaker who travels around the country uh, presenting to high schools uh, and educators um, across the country. I had the opportunity to listen to him two years ago at SAI and his message truly resonated. His message is gonna focus on our kids around five things that all, phrases that all kids or humans need to hear. Um, it's gonna focus on finding self-worth, resilience, confidence, joy, and making human connection. Super excited about this opportunity for our kids coming on January 4th. Hopefully they come home and talk about it uh, and you can have conversations with them about the message that they hear from Joe Beckman. Finally, uh, continuing to talk about CKH and how that's uh, impacting our classrooms. I want to talk about this idea of social contracts and what they are, uh, and if you've heard your kids talk about them. Social contract is just an agreement between the teacher and the students in the classroom on how they're going to treat each other. Uh, they work every uh, term or beginning of the year to create one for every class that they have, and then at the end they ask the kids to sign off on it. And it really focuses on four key things. You know, how do they want to be treated? Uh, how do they think the teacher wants to be treated? Um, how do they want to be treated by others and how are they going to interact when there's conflict? And those questions help develop a contract that they try to follow uh, on how they're going to treat each other within the classroom. So uh, if you hear your kid talk about it, ask them about it, um, maybe think about creating one at home. Uh, and again, I just want to wrap up by thanking you for uh, entrusting us with your students every single day and uh, go Huskies.